So yeah, so quick news there. Uh, Helldivers 2, we kind of talked about it. Uh, Helldivers 2 will never include a PvP mode. And when you have a formula that works, why change it? Especially when you're having server issues right now. Uh, and with all the concurrence that you're getting right now for Helldivers 2. So a uh, great decision. What do you think about that? Yeah, I have to agree. If, like if there's nothing wrong with your formula, don't change it. Don't add on to the mess, especially when you're still trying to clear up capacity messes here. For sure. <laughs> and trying your best. But I want to know what team really decides like, yes, if we have enough servers. It's going to manage this many people or concurrent players. I guess I guess you can't really fully prepare yourself for that. I think that's like one of the elements for these types of games that you can only hope for the best and that you have enough servers that can handle it. But then at the same time, it's also a really great feeling that you keep maxing this out because people still want to play. But at the same time, it's very heartbreaking because people can't play because they can't get on. Right. So I think that's like a love hate there. But who decides that? Who who's like whose who's job that? is it to make sure that we have enough servers? <laughs> Head of the head of servers at the the storage department. Uh, you have yeah. to do some forecasting, right? So when you think about games that have been like major uh, concurrence on PlayStation, I I don't know. I, I don't even know. Before this one, what would be like a major game that would be this massive for PlayStation? So I, I don't know. If you know, let me know. I don't know. Fourteen. Okay, fair enough. All right. So so you have to forecast a certain amount. Um, and then you implement on top of that, which is and we've seen it work the other way where companies don't forecast properly and they have server issues out of the gate. Right. So they buffered enough to be where they are. So not not like at launch where I don't know, you you, you pick a game, you know, if it's an EA title or any other title that had issues out of the gate. Because they didn't buffer enough, you know, servers, then you have major problems. Payday may have had some issues at launch. Payday three. Okay, from what I recall, based on the headlines and stuff like that. So then you have to add, you know, later on, but you're taking a risk not making that decision. And then they're doing good right now. Hell Divers 2 is doing really good right now. I may have to just buy it and just stop playing. <laughs> you know, like I'm tripping. I didn't buy it yet. But I'm like, this game is like everybody's going crazy with this game right now. I think about it. I don't have enough time. Somebody needs to like <sighs> yeah, we, we I have know, to make days longer. We have to I'm, I'm get gonna, you more time. We have to do I it. I don't know what I'm gonna find it. <laughs> we gotta figure it out. I, I got I gotta quit my job. I mean, that's not that's not viable. No, we need you. We need you to make that money um, for your family, of course. Right. So the the server situation, I think big companies with a lot of data often get it wrong. We've, we've seen in the past and companies that seem to come out of nowhere get it pretty right. Uh, Castle Crashers out of the gate. Older game. I know 2010, I believe, give or take one of my favorite games out of the gate. Multiplayer was not good. But over time, they got it right. Now, is that because Behemoth was a particular size by way of company? Maybe. But uh, now the game is flourishing. Uh, Scott Pilgrim, another game. Did they get it right out of the gate? I don't remember. But why did I think about Scott Pilgrim? Something must have gone. Think, no, Something, no, <laughs> it must have gone. I don't think it was server issues, though, because I don't think that, that mattered for Scott Pilgrim. Because they do have multiplayer. <laughs> they do. They do. I don't know. I don't know if they had an issue there, but we can we can look into that. These things are pretty searchable. Castle Crashers, 100 percent, because I played the game from the beginning. I, I knew they had issues. Some of the EA titles out of the gate had some issues with uh, multiplayer um, and server issues. Uh, Payday 3, I believe, don't quote me on that. I may have to double check with a buddy of mine, had some issues. So this issue for Helldivers is a positive because they max they they went over the concurrent of Destiny Two. They beat that, which is three hundred and thirty three thousand, you know, plus 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 whatever it was, right? But I think that with with the data that we've had over the years, you could kind of plan for that. Now, did PlayStation know that Helldivers Two was going to be a huge success? Which is a topic that I didn't think we'd spend that much time on, but here we are. I don't know. 
But they must have known something for, to not put it on the other platform. So, yeah. So there's that. So there's that. Any other thoughts here? No. Yeah. So yeah. So check out Hell Divers too. I need to. I 